guys, this is Shaw Kirby Semble 7, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last part, well, we climbed Stone Tower, but we stopped there. In this part, I am watching a dog. <laughs> no, but really, um, in this part, we're actually going to do a long side quest. If you guys know what I mean. <laughs> but I decided to skip ahead of time early, um, uh, off screen, so yeah. But anyways, um, this side quest. If you guys know what it is, you probably should recognize where we're at. We're in the Stockpot Inn, but more importantly, I'm doing the Cafe and Andrew side quest. Yeah, a lot of you guys know about this side quest, and you know, it's famous for, you know, well, you guys will see. So yeah, there's a lot of time in between these side quests, so I'm going to be skipping around a lot, so yeah. But anyways, um, so anyways, Andrew is the... The girl that sits up front in this desk, and she, you know, she, uh, uh, looks at your, uh, ugh, books you in, I guess. And then, yeah, she works here, pretty much. And, supposedly, her lover is missing. But around 2 o'clock, you want to talk to her, or at least 2.30. But anyway, at the start of the side quest, um, you want to hear these two talk. And a stock button opens at 8, so it's best if you come here at 2. So let's talk to these guys. Uh, uh oh, what is this? Yeah. I had delivered this to you. Oh, uh, wait, this letter, where did you? Yeah. From the post box. Th that's not what I mean. From the post box, where? Yeah. From the post box somewhere. Uh. That's not what I mean. Alright, so anyway, we got Andrew, the innkeeper, was added to your notebook. I know this intro seems abrupt, but. I didn't want you to keep you guys waiting, you know, from the beginning of the dawn of the first day. But anyway, let's talk to her real quick. Walk on to the stockpot inn. Um, did you have a reservation? Um, I guess, for sure. You do have a reservation. That's good. Mr. Scavin, isn't it? You mean Miss Scavin, excuse me. Uh, whatever. Excuse me, hiccup. One moment, please. Mr. Scavin, have you down for an afternoon arrival? Your room is in your knife... Knife chamber? What kind of chamber is that? Um, I don't even want to know. We got a room key, but we're not sure why. But apparently we have a reservation. Alright, so anyways, after you get a reservation, you want to talk to her with the cafe mask on. So let's speak to her right now. You're, you're also looking for cafe. Yes, this guy's name is Cafe. Remember um, the mother wanted us to look for her son? Yeah, this is her son that we're wearing the mask of. I have a request. Cafe, I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11.30, please come to our kitchen. We'll talk then. Alright, so she wants us to meet her at 11.30 in her kitchen. Alright, so yeah, this side quest has a lot of time in between. But at... Around, um, I guess, 5 o'clock, something funny happens, but I probably won't show it since it's not really all that important. I'm just going to skip ahead and probably play this do the double song of time. But anyway, this is the night chamber, so we have free 100 rupees. <laughs> so we're up to 320. I guess it's a good way to get easy 300 rupees, but there's another method of getting rupees, and yeah. Um, I could you know, explore somewhere else, but I'm not going to, so anyways, I'm going to speed up time, and I think I'll meet you guys when it's 11.30ish, or 10 o'clock, I guess, so I'll meet you guys then, alright, so, <laughs> yeah, a lot of cutting, and yeah, not gonna be great in the side quest, so anyways, I'll meet you guys at around 10, I guess, so see you guys then. I am waiting, 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 waiting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's right now it's oh, it's 10 o'clock right now, so yeah. So after you speed up time, you wanna wait here and you wanna have the reservation key because if the stock pot in closes at nine, I believe so. So in order to get back in, you need a key, so you can't get, get into the stockpot in unless you have the reservation key, so yeah. So you do want to reserve a room, because if you don't, well, you're going to mess up the side quest. So yeah, and I don't know why, I don't, the side quest, it takes like an hour long to do, maybe 30 minutes, so that's why I'm kind of cutting in between videos, or the episode, just to kind of, you know, 
you know, and not keep you guys waiting because this cycle does take forever and it has a lot of waiting time, so yeah. But I believe around 5, five o'clock, um, there is actually someone that did have a room reserved for us at, under the name Scaven, or under my, my name, I should say. But yeah, but I'll show you that guys in a minute. And off screen, I did get a town tile D. Now you think that we're already done with the tile town tile deed stuff but there's actually one more harpies that you can get with using the town tile deed or tile deed stuff but anyways it's 11 30 and andrew you're late it's 11 30 and you're supposed to meet me here at 11 30 what the heck well yeah this is the kitchen of the stockpot and not too bad i should say she said 11 30 come on jeez andrew <laughs> all right so anyways here is andrew all right my commentary seems bland this part of me seriously it does Hello, Andrew. What do you want me to talk about? I'm sorry to trouble you late at night. It's about him. Cafe. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person? But there's absolutely no mistaking. It's from him. It's clear to me. Please. Here's my letter. Please put this in the post box. When this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Andrew is waiting for him. And please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I, I can't go. Can I ask this of you? Sure, you can. Thank you very much. I mean, she's desperate. She wants to know where Cafe is. So anyways, we got a, le a letter to Cafe. Quick, deliver to her. Take it to the mailbox. Alright? So she wants us to deliver this letter to Cafe. Please mail it immediately in the morning. Alright, so she wants us to deliver before morning comes. But before I do, there's actually one little thing I want to show off. In here. Oh my god, what in the world is good? This is creepy. Um, hello? B -b -b paper please! Um, paper? Um, here you go, I guess. Yay! Yay! Oh, you saved me! <laughs> what? This fell down here. I'll give it to you. Um, um, um... Thanks, I guess? I don't, even, I don't even want to know where you got this from. Um, yeah, you might want to wash your hands after this. Uh, um, yeah, random heart piece in the toilet. Yeah, this is the bathroom. I guess that guy stuck in the toilet or something. How did he get stuck down there? <laughs> oh my god. Well, anyways, um, that room that we got out of randomly, it actually belongs to this Goron here. This Goron actually has the same name as you, whoever you're playing as. So, technically, we took this guy's room. So, yeah, that's why he's sleeping outside. Let's talk to him. The wind has gotten damp, Goro. Tomorrow's rain, Goro, Goro. Yeah, this Goron, we took his room. So, he has the same name as us. So, yeah, we took you know, his spot in the stockpot in. But anyways, let's turn in the letter here. Hello, mailbox. The spot's a meal here. ka -ching. All right, so let's give the postbox our letter and the mailman should deliver it by tomorrow morning. All right, sweet. All right, so now that we got that done, let's actually speed up time. All right. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of waiting time in between. So yeah, it's, it was a lot of waiting. So you gotta wait a long time. So, now the next part is, when, uh, what's the next step in the side quest? Well, the next step in the side quest is waiting for a cafe. And we, if you guys notice, there's actually a kid running around in, well, let's just say South Clock Town. Sometimes you see a kid running a, a, a mask, some sort, like a yellow fox mask that walks around here and gets a post box and has purple hair. I wonder if that looks familiar. Hmm. Well, we sometimes see this kid run off in this laundry pool area. So, the next step is to wait in the laundry pool bot at 1 p.m. Or, actually, 2 o'clock, I think. Oh my god, that's gonna take a while, man. Um, yeah, that's gonna take a while to wait for. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Cafe, supposedly, is in the laundry pool. And, if you ring this bell, well, somebody comes out. And hey, is that kid? And he has somehow purple hair. The same thing that was the cafe that Angie's waiting for. Hmm. Mysterious, mysterious, huh? But yeah. <laughs> I 
I think, no, you have to wait till 3 o'clock. Oh my god, it's gonna be a while to wait for. Oh, wow. This, <laughs> yeah, this side quest has a lot of waiting time. So, you know what, guys? Again, I am going to cut this video until I meet you probably around 1.30. So, yeah. So, I'll see you guys at 1.30 in the rain. So, see you guys then, I guess, again. Cafe, bunny hood. Cafe, bunny hood. Cafe, bunny hood. Yeah! Okay, I'm bored. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting here for a very long time. <sighs> oh, by the way, guys, did I ever tell you that this side quest has two rewards? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it has two rewards, then you have to do the side quest twice. Yes. <laughs> There's two ways you can get to end the side quest. Ugh. I know, it's, it really sucks. I mean, it's a good side quest, but it takes forever to wait around. Seriously. I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> this the only, I mean, the side quest is, 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 I like the side quest, but it just takes too long to do. Like, there's a lot of waiting in between. I just want to get it done and over with. My gosh. Alright, so anyways, um, around 2.30, the postman should come around here and ring this bell. I know I'm kind of giving away what's going to happen, but honestly, I don't really care. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the side quest, but it just takes forever to do, like, to get around things. I mean, seriously, it does. Not that I realize, I think the postman comes at 3.30, not that I realize. I didn't write down what the time he come, like, the exact time. Oh, I hear him coming, never mind. Alright, so the postman is gonna come. Now, what you want to do is, he's going to ring that bell. Once he, he rings that bell, you know, that kid's going to come out. And once he does ring the bell, the kid comes out, and he's distracted, and it's your chance to run through this door. Now, normally that door is locked, so you can't get in there. So, what I recommend is having the bunny hood and just run and sprint over there, but yeah. And I do not want a cafe mask on, stop putting the cafe mask on. Alright, so anyways, this is where this kid was staying at, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of weird that the door is always locked, but yet again, I see why he keeps it locked because, well, it's a secret hideout, I guess. It sounds like a secret hideout. So anyways, that kid's gonna come here any moment now. I'm just gonna wait here and wait for him. Pretty much. A lot of waiting. Too much waiting in this side quest. Too much waiting. <laughs> Too much waiting. My goodness. Alright, I hear the door opening, and here he comes. I honestly don't have nothing to say in the side quest. It, okay, there he is, finally. About time. So let's talk to this kid. Green hat, green clothes. Andrew wrote about you in her letter. It seems you're looking for a cafe. Can you keep a secret? Sure. And who are you, kid? How do you know about cafe? Andrew trusted you. I shall also trust you. Um, who are you? I am cafe. Cafe? We're looking for an adult. Yeah, that's what she said, um, <laughs> Tattle. The cafe we're looking for is an adult. When I look at you, I just see a child. Are you really cafe? I mean, you have the purple hair and all that, but are you really cafe? I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask, but I'm not hiding because I look like this way. When I was turned into this, I went to see the great fairy in the shrine near the north gate. But on the way, my precious mask, a wedding ceremony mask, was stolen from by some prancy man with a grinning face. Well, you're just careless. You like my partner. Hey, Tad, that's not nice. Before my wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I had been turned into. Oh my, I pity you. Yeah, now nah, nah, did you feel sad, Tattle? I know Angela was worried, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the wedding mask and greet her. This pendant. Give it to Andrew. Alright. We shall. You know what we got? The Pendant of Memories. Though you may not understand these grown up matters, you should probably take the Pendant to Andrew anyway. Keep what we just talked about a secret from everyone. Alright, so he wants to keep this a secret. Alright. Anyway, so, uh, what's up here that he's been looking at? Or can we talk to him again? Link, stop jumping around! Stop it! Oh damn, thank you. Anything else you want to say, Cafe? Things I just stole in this town always make their way to the curiosity shop. I'm waiting for that to happen. Stand on that crate and peek into that hole. Ah, oh, so you're spying out a curiosity shop, huh? From here, I check on the curiosity curiosity shop's customers. Really, you sneak. 
But anyway, this is the Curiosity Shop. If you guys didn't, I don't think I been to the Curiosity Shop just yet. I don't think I did. I don't think so. That guy will definitely appear. I'll be waiting when it happens. Alrighty then. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was quiet there for a moment. I thought I heard something, but never mind. Alright, so anyway, the next step into this side quest is giving the pandit of uh, memories to Andrew. Seriously, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not liking my commentary in this episode. Like, seriously, it's just all over the place. Like, seriously. Alright, so anyways, um, let's head to East Clawtown and go inside the Stockholm Inn and give her the pendant of memories. Like, really, guys? <laughs> I don't know, I, I just don't know where I'm at, I'm at right now, like seriously, I've been cutting in between videos and all that, and I'm not really, I've been actually turning off my camcorder and restarting it again, just so I don't have to waste time on my camera. Alright, so anyways, let's give this pendant to Anju. Alright, so here we go, let's talk to her real quick. Oh, did you meet him? We sure did, and look what he got for you. Ah, it's from Cafe, That's, thank you very much. All right, so she looks happy. There you go. I have decided to wait for him. I made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. All right, so now the next thing is, what do we do afterwards? Well, there's one extra thing, but that's in the final day. So, next time. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to continue this side quest in the next part. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Um... I will skip ahead to the final day. Yeah. Um, I think that's it for this part, guys. I mean, it seems kind of short, but I'm not sure how long my video total is because I do gotta cut some few things out. So yeah, I'll meet you guys um, at the final day. So I'll see you guys then. So this is Shaw Kirby 707 Saint interrupting me night of the second day. This is a shocker, sir. 707 C. Bye.